To transfer pipe data to Civil 3D, users should take note of the entities used in their design in Civil Site Design. These entities can be reviewed in the Active Network Settings form. Note that the reference surfaces are both Civil 3D copies of the CSD surfaces. The rest of the design is set up as usual. I browse the Pit Tables tab. I can review all of the pit families and types available in this project. The ones I've used are the GG or Grated Gully. Its data comes from the Queensland install. For junction pits I have the 600 by 600 type. I have the combination SEP and grate 1 metre. This one is the SAG type. And finally I use the side entry pit at 0.5% longitudinal grade. For comparison, we can now look at the parts list in Civil 3D. Go to the Modify ribbon, Pipe Network button. And in the Contextual ribbon, go to the Parts List drop down and Edit Parts List. Select and edit your parts list. I've made one called CSD. In the Structures tab, I can expand the branches in the tree to show the different types of pits and the sizes that I've added to the list. The list should only contain the pipes and structures you want to use, so avoid clicking the Add All Sizes button to keep it manageable. Exit the parts list and close the contextual ribbon. In the Civil 3D Output tab, click on the Network Settings. Unless you start with the same template, the parts list in Civil 3D is often unique for each drawing office and then different between their drawings as well, as they are customised for each project. The ANZ Country Kit is also different to the vanilla Civil 3D parts list. To this end, there is not a default network conversion file that can be used for all drawings, rather ones that are made for particular template drawings. You can use the same network conversion file on different drawings if they have the same parts family to refer to in Civil 3D. To make a network conversion file, or NCF, click on the plus button. Give it a name and click OK. In the pipes tab, we want to add the class 2 rubber ring joint pipes to our conversion table, but first we need to make sure that we are using the correct parts list in the drop down. The parts family to be used will set here. Click the Add button and the conversion table will populate with all of the different pipe sizes available for Class 2 in CSD. Adjacent to these are the pipes from the nominated Civil 3D parts list. Note that the part sizes have been automatically changed to match the CSD pipe sizes. This automation is made easier because these are standardised sizes and so the diameters are likely to be common to both lists. Repeat the process by choosing Class 3 and click the plus. Add Class 4. And for our services, add the PVC pipes as well. If we scroll down, we can see all of the pipes added to our table. Add the hydraulic properties. These will be read across into Civil 3D from your Civil Site Design data. Create branch alignments. This will automatically read the branch sequencing from CSD into Civil 3D where you would normally have to make them one at a time. Set referenced objects to set the pipe references to the branch alignment and if set the design surface profile. Toggle this on to create the pipes with curvature to match the curvature applied to the Civil Site Design pipes. Override the Civil 3D pipe names with the CSD pipe names. You can also override the pipe descriptions which can be set here. Set the pipe diameter to use the nominal diameter. You can make edits to your conversion table by highlighting a group of entries and changing the parts family and clicking the override selected button. If we scroll back down, these are all now referring to the PVC parts family in Civil 3D. Save the NCF and go to the pits and structures tab. Here we will link the pits that were used in the design. So let's start with the grated gully Choose the rectangular slab top with the rectangular frame structure in the parts family and click add. Next add the junction pits. The parts family is already set so click add. Next is the SCP and grate. Change this one to cylindrical structure slab top with a rectangular frame and click add. Finally pick the side entry pit we used and we want the same parts family so just click add. 
Now, unfortunately, the naming convention of the CSD pits and the civil 3D structures aren't as compatible as the pipes, so we'll have to select the part size manually. You can see why you don't want to just add all of the part sizes to your parts list. Try to line up the sizes, so 600 by 600, 900 by 600. For the junction pits, set it to 450 by 450. This one is 900 by 600. There isn't a 750, so we'll just use the 900 by 700. And the last one is 900 by 900. Scroll down and set the SAG SCP and grate to 600 by 400. And the one on 0.5% to 600 by 600. We'll scroll down to the last pit we used. The SCP at 0.5% grade is already set to 600 by 600. Save the NCF. Now in the settings, we will override the civil 3D structure names with the CSD pit names. Override the pit descriptions like the pipes, they can be set here. Set the structure references to the branch alignment and the design surface profile. Go to the civil 3D styles tab these are all read from the Civil 3D styles in the drawing. I'll just change the design profile to design surface style, save the NCF and apply and close.